Hello, how are you guys? My name is Karen and today's April 6th. It is the day before the International Booker shortlist is announced. As of today, I have read 10 out of the 13 books and what I want to do in this video is predict the shortlist. Yeah, we're, we're doing that. We're doing big things. Now, this is based off of me reading the books and intuition. So we will see whether or not I'm right or wrong. Now, the first three books that I think are going to be on the shortlist, I haven't finished them. I've started them. I'm not that far along, like early days of these books. But without further ado, I think this guy, A New Name by Fosse, shortlist. Tome of Sand, A Story of Partition, the first Hindi translated book to be on the little situation, it's going to get shortlisted. And this, this guy, Book of Jacob, also going to get, or The Books of Jacob. I realize that for most of these videos, I've been saying the title wrong, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I think this is going to get shortlisted. So those three, shortlisted, straight to the top. Then we have my next picks. Now these are from the books that I have read. It is a combination of my personal favorites and also what I think deserves a spot on the list. Now of the 13 books, we had three short story collections. That's a lot. I think that means one of these short stories has to make it to the short list. My vote, After the Sun by Jonas Ega. It was, of the three collections, the strongest for me, though, yeah, not gonna lie, it is a bit abstract, but I think the themes we're covering in here are superior. Next up, this one. Paradise by Fernanda Melcor. I think this deserves to be shortlisted. It was really good. I mean, obviously, I haven't read Harkin Seasons, and I've heard it is superior to this one, but I wanna see this on the shortlist because I think great language, an exploration of misogyny and inequality like it's giving it i'm here for this now this last choice my final thought this is hard because there's one book that i really want to make it on the short list but i'm a little that was a plane sorry about that i really want this book to make it on the short list but i'm a little nervous that it's not gonna cut it. So I have two options for book number six. I don't know how to do this. I don't know if I should say which one I want on the shortlist or which one I think will make it on the shortlist and then tell you number seven. Okay, I want Elena Knows to make it to the shortlist. Like nothing happens in this novel in some regards, but the ending and the various themes that are explored in this book it's a no-brainer for me. I think this deserves a spot on the shortlist. But I don't know. I feel like I could be wrong. So I'm going to give this. This is my number seven spot for the shortlist. This is what I think could sneak in there and make it to the shortlist. So that's what I'm going to say. I have made the shortlist seven books. And tomorrow on April 7th, we will find out whether or not I'm right or wrong. We will see if my intuition was up to par. Fingers crossed. And then I think the winner is announced in May. I would love to be there when that happens, but we will see. So with that, please let me know in the comments what your shortlist predictions are. I want to know, do, do we have the same list? Are you thinking some of the other options are going to be on there? Let me know in the comments and I can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.